Hey everybody, welcome to another Using Emacs video. Um, I hope everyone is staying home and staying safe and staying healthy. Um, so I thought I would spend a little time today cleaning up some of my you know, little workflow things and I thought I'd share that with you. So uh, a while ago, um, like if we go over here to go over here to my blog and oh and actually before I start um, I'm trying to record this using Voco screen um, as opposed to OBS so we'll see if that works better um, for um, uh, than, um, than OBS in terms of either screen tear or audio so uh, you know hopefully it'll work better um, so I've done a couple of videos uh, before um, on uh, one on links I don't remember if I explicitly um, no, I didn't do that. Uh, ah, well, I did. I did talk about capture, um, and so using org capture to capture links, and I also showed like how you can do cool things with those links. So yeah, so org capture. So I talked about that, um, and here I can do things like um, here's my links. Um, so if I export this to HTML and open, then I can get my links, you know, as a web page. I can bookmark this. That's all really cool. Um, and you can look at those older posts for how I was doing it. And I was, um, I had a few capture templates set up. Let me just do that. Um, I had a capture template for mail, for Gmail. Um, you know, and for links and for to-dos, and they all operated kind of like uh, the way the to-dos do now, and so this is a to-do, whatever, um, and then if we open this up, we see this is a to-do. Okay, so, um, but what would happen is when I would say, when I, well, what I would do an email, let's, let's look at an email. So if I do this, I go to an email, um, let's, uh, and incidentally, I just recently, um, I just recently switched over from using uh what is it um mb sync because I, i'm just getting fed up with those uid errors to offline imap and offline imap had a couple of minor issues um, i had to exclude some folders like if you're um, if you use outlook which i have to use at hunter and um for example if there's any entries in your calendar um offline imap will uh, will basically crash when it tries to sync the calendar stuff. So I had to explicitly put in something to um, not download the calendar and a few other folders, but now I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so anyway, if I look here and I have some email, and this is just Slack basically upgrading, uh, actually this is a notification, okay. So if I can open my capture template and I can do a mail template, it fills in everything. So I get right over here, okay, look, here is the you know, here's the link and everything. Let's save that. Um, I like saving it as a to-do because um, I like working off my to-dos. And then I'm over here, I can do control C O and it will open that back up in my email. So that's great. But when I would do this with a link or when I would do this with a Gmail, what I had to do instead was um, I would have to copy, you know, I'd have to come over here. I'd have to copy the link, go back to Emacs, go to my temp, you know, uh, do my org capture, paste the link, etc. It was pretty smooth, but it wasn't, wasn't as cool. Um, so anyway, let's, um, I'm just gonna bring this up to have a page to go to. So that's where org protocol comes in. So if I do a search here, org protocol, um, it was actually pretty easy to set up. So the first thing I did is, um, I, uh, all I had to do in my configuration, actually, I'll just show you that is all I had to do there is um, require org protocol. That's it, one line, and it's set up. Now you do have to have Emacs running all the time, but I already do that. I have that running, um, when I first load Emacs, it runs the Emacs server, and then it's just going in the background all the time. Now what I also found was this extension, org capture. Um, and org capture, I basically set up um, uh, install for Firefox and notice I say for the selected template L and for the unselected template L I'll explain what that is in a minute new style links um, I installed them that was that and that gave me this guy over here and um, then what I also did is I looked over here in the org protocol stuff and I you know I, I basically read through this and it gave me um, uh, I also do a little more setting up so 
okay, well, I'm already starting my server and that's not a big deal. Um, but I had to set up GNOME or Ubuntu, so I tried these lines. I tried to copy this line over, paste it, copy this line over, paste it. It didn't seem to work. Um, so what I ultimately ended up having to do is, let me just go back to this file here, is I went to this post, and I'll put this in the blog post, and I found this, and I did this over here. I basically did exactly this. I made this file called, you know, under my home directory, local share applications, um, called org protocol desktop, did this, did that. Um, and then the other thing that I had to do is in my configuration, I want, I had to change my template. So my link template, makes it a little bigger, my link template now, instead of doing a cut and paste, I use this percent %A for capture, and that's gonna grab whatever is um, in my org store link. And if you notice, going back over to here, I say L, can I make that bigger? Yes, L is um, the, link, the type of um, capture I'm going to store here. So when this all comes together, what I can do is I come here on my, you know, my most recent blog post. If I just click on that, it saves it as a link. It's called Class Legends, and this is going to be a miscellaneous link. Um, and I want to clean this up a little bit. I pick away the timestamp. Boom. It's theoretically saved. Let's see if it is. Let's see if, uh, let's go to links. Um, and here we do. Here we have it. Class Legends, Control C O, and it goes there. So I didn't have to paste or anything really really nice um, but what I found that was um, that was great but that was good for links when I'm in a Gmail I don't want that to go like if I if I have my Gmail up I don't want to save a link so here I've got this from Kaggle so it's just like a you know, whatever email um, I don't want to have to go to my links folder with my Gmail so I was like how can I do that oh and let me actually show another thing about this if I'm back in class legends here um, if I actually mark some text and I click on this, notice how, and I'll make this a misclink, I'm not gonna save it, but notice how it pastes the text in question that I marked into here as well. Let me kill that. If I look at my capture template, that's what this stuff is. That what, that's what the percent %i is. So the percent %a does the stored link. Um, the percent caret %g lets me choose my tags. The percent capital T puts that timestamp in, which I'll probably get rid of. Um, the, the, the percent I just said that was the marked text from when I sent it over for more capture. And then the percent question mark is where it leaves the cursor. Um, so anyway, I want the Gmail to operate differently. So I have my, my Gmail one over here. And instead of going to, let me make this wider. Um, so here where my link goes to the links file under links, uh, my Gmail is going to go under my regular index.org, uh, i.org, under my to-dos and notes, just like my mail stuff. Um, but I'm going to use this percent %a instead. It's basically the same as the mail one. In fact, um, you know, now that I think about it, I can get rid of my Gmail one because it's the same as my mail one. But I'll leave this here for the sake of the video and, um, and then I'll clean it up later because um, I don't want to have to change things. But what I ended up doing, let's go back to here, is by reading the documentation for org protocol, um, if you keep going down with it, it talks about setting up bookmarks. You know, bookmarks with this JavaScript code in it. So what I did is I made a bookmark with literally this code in it. Um, and the key line here is this G. Use the G capture link and everything else I copied directly from that org from, from, from here. You know, exactly from here. And what that lets me do now is I'm reading this email. And what I did is I created this as a bookmark. I, can I edit the bookmark here? No, I can't. So let me show you it here. We'll go to libraries bookmarks show all bookmarks and the bookmark toolbar um, has the save gmail and here it is and then maybe i don't know if how it's going to come up in the video um, i'm actually going to change this to an m 
for male because that should work fine with because they're the same thing. Um, but it's literally that JavaScript cut and pasted from what I showed you in my in my other file, and that was literally cut and paste from the documentation. So here, if I now click on this bookmark, save Gmail, there we go. Um, I'm just going to save this. Uh, let me um, let me just kill this. Uh, where should I go? Let me just go to i.org. Let's see if we have it here. We have it right over here. Um, I'm going to kill Gmail. And now if I go here, click on it or control CO. And there we have it. We are right back um, in that email. So this org capture, and I can actually just fix this right now in my readme file. Um, I no longer need that um, because now it's just a mail to do because they both operate the same way because they're both using the capture. Uh, let's just quickly go into um, into the git uh, remove old email capture template all email uses mail template now commit push that up to github um, and that's pretty much it so uh, so org protocol um, really cool it wasn't as monstrously hard to set up as I thought it might be um, you know uh, feel free to check it out um, yeah, and that's it for today. So again, um, you know, uh, hopefully this will give you a little diversion um, when you're doing your, your homebound and uh, play more with some of the CMAX stuff. Okay, take care. See you guys next time.